Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download and install Vanilla Plus shaders for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them, but simply go to your search bar and search up a website called Modern. Like so. Once you do this, you should see modern.com, simply click on modern and you should be on the modern homepage. Now, simply go to the top of the website to discover content and go down to shaders. Then, simply go to search shaders and search up Vanilla plus shaders. And once you did this, simply click on Vanilla plus shader here and go to the versions tab. Once you did this, simply download the latest file here, so using the green download button and you're done with modern. Now you need to get yourself Iris. And to get Iris, you need to go to a new tab and search up for a website called Iris Shaders. So simply click Iris Shaders and you should see irisshaders.dev here. Simply click on Iris Shaders and you should be on the Iris Shaders homepage. Now, click on Download Now and click on Download Universal Jar. And here we have a jar. So, that means if you don't have Java for Windows, you will not be able to use this iOS install here. So what you need to do here is simply go to a new tab and search up for a website called JDK23, which I will have linked in the description as well. Simply go on this website here, Java Downloads, and it should look like this. So you might have it to pop up, just do accept all. And once you scroll down, you should see JDK23, Windows, click on Windows, and download the metal option here, x64 install. So you only need to do this if you don't really have Java for Windows install. Anyways, once you have sorted out this, what you want to do here is simply go to your downloads folder. You can do this by going to your file explorer and going to your downloads folder. Here, all you want to do is simply find your iOS installer in your Vanilla Plus shader that you just have downloaded. Simply double click the iOS installer and choose the game version. So here we have a lot of game versions that we can choose, but I'm just going to select the latest one. And here we have iOS only or iOS plus fabric. I'm just going to select just iOS only basically. And just click install. Once you're done, just close the iOS installer and go to your Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, what we need to do here is simply make sure that we do have iOS in the Minecraft launcher and add the Vanilla plus shader to the shader packs folder. Here we see that we have iOS and Sodium, all good. Simply go to the Installations tab here and then hover over iOS and Sodium and go to the Folder icon. Then what you want to do is go to the Shader Packs folder, double click it, and once you're here, you want to go to your Downloads folder, you want to select and copy Vanilla Plus and go back to your previous folder here using the top left arrow. And now click Paste. What you want is a Dalmaga folder with Shader Packs and Vanilla Plus here. Once you have this layout, simply go to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure you have iOS and Sodium here, and click play. What's going to happen here, it is going to download and install all the required files for iOS and Sodium to run, and then we will be able to activate Vanilla Plus as well once we're in game. So all we need to do here is simply wait for Minecraft, here it is, and once we're going to be in Minecraft, we will be able to join a single player world, a server or a realm. I'm just going to choose single player world. And what's going to happen here, we will need to activate the shader. And to activate Vanilla Plus, all you have to do is simply go on Escape. And once you did this, you want to go to Options, Video Settings, and go to Shader Packs. Once you did this, simply click Vanilla Plus and Apply. It will just darken here, and that means you select it. And there you go. We now have Vanilla Plus Shaders currently active. It is a very simple shader pack, but it adds custom clouds and it makes the water look a bit different. You can see it through it a bit better. It is a bit more vibrant, but also darker at the same time. It is just a very simple shader. It adds a bit of fog. You, know, you can imagine there will be like hairline somewhere here. It looks really good just for a simpler version of a shader. We can also change some settings if we go to the same page we were at here. We can go to Shader Pack Settings. 
and here we have some things we can change we can do fancy fast i'll just do fancy to see what we have and here it is fancy has a bit more fog the water looks absolutely gorgeous now they just it makes it really nice there's a fog here this shit is really really good it's really simple but it also really adds to the game as well it makes it look at like a different day so that's pretty cool so either way that's how we get vanilla plus shaders working on minecraft java in 2025 so if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye